So looking at Ty Lopez's website, you can see there's a nice intro video here, 15 minutes and 44 seconds. He outlines the plans, right? And and by the way, his NFT collection's not been going all too good. He said he was going to sell 18,300 NFTs. And during his initial mint, he sold 2,000 of them. If you look at his website, this is truly like something from the early 2000s. This is a really retro website. You remember if you played World of Warcraft, those websites that would sell you like a guide to make gold? That's literally what this reminds me of, the layout. This looks identical to that. I, ca I can't remember what it was called. It was like somebody's gold guide. Now, what are his NFTs? What are they going to do? Well, there's three tiers, right? But within those three tiers, you know, these three colored cards, silver, gold, and black, these membership cards, uh, you get different perks. The silver one is pretty much going to be completely just, you get access to my uh, courses, my online courses, right? But you also get access to the... Uh, NFT member hotel, restaurant, or club, which is interesting because this means Ty Lopez is going to buy a hotel, a restaurant, and a club. As you can see here, he literally says it. Our NFT member hotel will be accessible to only OG NFT members. Say goodbye to hunting discounts down to get a nice hotel at a select location to be revealed. You don't even know where the hotel is going to be. What a fantastic investment, right? You buy in access to go to a hotel that doesn't exist yet in a location you don't even know where it is. It could be in a tiny village in London. I'm, I mean a tiny village in England, guys, not a tiny village in London. I, I know. Okay, I know. And where they've got like three bedrooms. That'd probably actually be useful for Ty Lopez since that is exactly how many people will be able to go to the hotel any one time. Because if even 18,000 people bought this access, how many of those people are going to be in the exact same location at the exact same time? And you're going to have to have these fully staffed all year round, right? For people to, to go there and to maintain those places. It just makes no sense. Uh, fundamentally, as a business, this is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. That means no one else in the world will be able to stay here unless they're also an OG uh, NFT holder. Amazing. Of course, then you get access to all of his social clubs, his metaverse club, his global network of social clubs. It's essentially a, a club, right? It, that's what it's called, a social club. So you give Ty Lopez money, a person who makes his money from people giving him money to tell them how to make money, and then obviously rolled that into businesses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, posing on social media with his awesome cars and his private jet and all the models. You give him money to be in a club of people who also want to be in a club to talk to Ty Lopez and get advice from him. And then, of course, you get an automatic whitelist for all of his future NFT drops. Now, there's there's a problem before we go further, right? There's there's a big problem with this. People have discovered that the smart contract for buying Ty Lopez NFTs is really fucked up right so usually what happens when you buy an nft is you pay a gas fee uh, this is the transaction fee on the network usually in ethereum usually quite high by the way because ethereum's a congested network that doesn't process transactions very quickly you pay a gas fee to mint an nft even if you get a free nft you're still probably going to be like 50 200 uh out due to the gas fees for minting that nft well for ty lopez nfts you not only pay the gas fee to mint the NFT, you also pay the gas fee to send the money to Ty Lopez's accounts, which is done automatically, which is not a very common thing in NFTs. Usually what happens is they have a, a common wallet where all the funds go to, and then the funds stay in there, and then they have to you know manually uh, send the funds out to the team and things like that, to individual people who they're paying. Not this one. This one has an automatic built-in Whenever you buy an NFT, not only do the funds get immediately sent out to the team members, like split off into multiple people, but you also pay the gas fees in your initial purchase for the privilege to send them that money. So you are being double dicked from the back uh, to buy this guy's NFTs, which is just fucking hilarious. But then you go further through and it's just every single tier gets considerably worse than the previous one. So if you buy these large mastermind uh, large mastermind gold tokens for 0.8 ethereum each which right now is about two thousand four hundred dollars something like that at the time recording this video you will get a four to eight hour long 300 group mastermind with ty lopez in one of the major cities around the world and with some of the best and brightest entrepreneurs from all over the world so you're paying two thousand five hundred ish dollars for the opportunity to go to a four to eight hour long conference with Ty Lopez and a bunch of other, you know, successful people, uh, where presumably they're going to impart on you the wisdom of 
how do you become a millionaire? Well, what you could do is sell people the idea that you can tell them how to become a millionaire. And then, of course, on top of that, sell NFTs where they can come and ask you about how to become a millionaire. This is like how all the guru grifts work. And I'm not even trying to say that Ty Lopez is not successful because he's one of the most successful people at doing this. And that's why his name is notorious around like the guru circle of pretty much telling you, I can change your life. You know, these are the principles that you have to follow. And not all of their advice is terrible, by the way. Not all of their advice is completely ridiculous. He also tells you if you pay one to 12 Ethereum, you can buy one of these. There's a max supply of five to 25. I'm not sure why there's such a, a sliding range. NFTs, you know, you're supposed to know how many of a thing is to judge how expensive it's going to be. That's pretty much a requisite of, of an NFT collection. You have the opportunity to get an e-commerce store customized by Ty himself every year. And I'm not sure why year is in quotes here. There's a lot of things about this website and how he talks about things. It doesn't make a lot of sense. You probably have to go through and watch all these little videos. But after listening to this man speak for 15 minutes, uh, I thought I'd skip it for this at least brief introduction to Ty Lopez uh, NFT collection, which most people in the NFT space are luckily avoiding and deriding and saying how ridiculous it is because they know better, uh, which is funny coming from the NFT space, where they routinely give people who they don't even know their name multiple millions of dollars for links to JPEG. So it's good to see the, the space learning, I guess. Here you go. If you spend almost $11,000, you can get two pairs of shoes that Ty Lopez has signed. I wonder if you can buy glass jars of his farts. I wonder how much they are. Nice little meta joke for you if you do follow Twitch culture. Uh, the holder of this NFT will receive two pairs of shoes from Ty's, quote, kicks of the day. Uh, collection signed by himself every year again year in in quotation marks i don't i don't understand why the year is is presented that way 1.9 ethra group mentor mastermind zoom call you can spend 1.8 ethereum so roughly about five thousand dollars to shadow tie for once a year uh for up to six hours so when he's buying a piece of land when he's spending your money to enrich himself and buy more property so we can be richer in the future using your money, you can follow him and watch him. You can also have a group shadowing uh, so you can get together as a group and follow Ty around at his office in either Miami, Stockholm, London, Copenhagen, Dubai or Los Angeles. He has a lot of uh, offices so you, you definitely know he's been very successful at doing this. You can get 10 books signed by him, his favorite books. They'll probably all be by Ty Lopez. This one's my favorite, uh, Cat in a Hat, made by Ty Lopez. This has got my signature on it. Uh, small group mastermind with Ty in Miami. So you can go to Miami for up to two hours. So let's skip through because there's a lot of these. What about for the, the black tier? What do you get for the black tier? Uh, private mentorship with Ty, the black edition. The holder of this NFT will have the opportunity to call Ty every month for 15 minutes to be personally mentored for, by him. 15 minutes is nothing. Oh, you know, how, how have you been going? Uh, update me on what happened last month by the time you're done with that. Yeah, sorry, time's up, motherfucker. You should have paid more money. Uh, Shadow Ty as he buys a business black edition. Play horse with Ty. Uh, you can have a one-hour game of horse per year with him, and the winner will make the holder get $10,000 in Bitcoin. So let me get this straight. You, you're paying, and by the way, according to CoffeeZilla, this was this was $50,000, I do believe he posted on his Twitter, is $50,000 worth of Ethereum to buy this. And then you get the privilege of once a year going to where Ty is to play basketball with him. And if you lose, you have to give him a further $10,000. Watch a movie with Ty. The holder of this NFT will have the opportunity to watch a 1.5 hour long movie with Ty once per year. What if it's 1.6? What if you pick an hour? What if you pick a 1.6 hour long movie? After 1.5 hours, do the bouncers come in and drag you out? Like you should have paid more, motherfucker. You can go to an NBA courtside game with him once per year. I wonder if he makes you pay. I wonder if he makes you pay for the tickets. Gym session with him. You can go and uh, spot Ty Lopez or have Ty Lopez spot you. You can play a game of chess with him once per year. You can have him in your podcast or you can have him drive a Lamborghini. Does he provide the Lamborghini? Oh yeah, you can ride in one of Ty's supercars alone with him once every year for one hour. This seems like a really bad idea, not just for the fact that, you know, if you buy this, you're an idiot, but also because he's rich and you're just having random members of the general public show up and spend one-on-one -on -one time with you. Like, I I'm not sure I'd be doing that personally. 
because people online are crazy. He even calls himself a bit here, a business influencer. Ty is one of the most popular and talked about business influencers of the past decade and is regarded as one of the founding fathers of modern day internet marketing. He is literally one of the OG uh, gurus. So according to this article, you know, this is the, the law, the history of Ty Lopez, just to inform you. He's a very interesting figure because there's a lot of people who swear by Ty Lopez and, and that he's helped them so much. And honestly, and like I said earlier, it's not like all the advice he gives is bad because he's obviously smart enough to recognize that because he is a founder, he is a forefather of, of, of what a lot of people have started doing now, giving financial advice and life advice and telling people, you know, I've got the answers. So if you pay me money, you will also have the answers and you'll be as successful as me. Although most of the time they start as not being successful and the way that they get their success is by telling you uh, how to be successful, but they themselves are not until people pay them large sums of money for a long period of time. So it's literally the fake it till you make it approach uh, that gets some of these people rich. So as you can see here, here's some of the pricing one on one to shadow him is 45 Ethereum, which like I said earlier, $2,600, $2,800 Ethereum each at the moment. And you can follow him around at his office uh, once a year for a couple of hours for 46 Ethereum, 30 to $40,000 to watch a 1.5 hour movie with him, 80 to $90,000 to get his WhatsApp, which I'm sure he's gonna to reply to you all the time. According to CoffeeZilla, it's already sold 1.3 mil, and I assume it was only supposed to be one mint, and then because it went so badly, you know, he claimed on his Twitter, uh, and there are some deleted tweets here that I'll have to go through. So as you can see in the since deleted tweet, haha, we overloaded the Ethereum blockchain in just four minutes of me, my early OG NFT whitelist mint. If you missed the whitelist now, the public is open in a minute today, Friday. Then this Sunday main mint starts, but today Friday is lowest ETH price ever. Go to mint link in my bio. So... It didn't go well, uh, and then he's obviously put up multiple more mint dates, and he's trying to drum up the fact that, you know, oh, we broke Ethereum. Ethereum was overloaded. The whole blockchain was overloaded because my uh, NFT mint sold 2,000 items. You do realize there are multiple 10,000 sellout uh, NFT mints every other day, and they're fine, but his, with a floor price of 0 0.18 Ethereum each, which is not even expensive for an NFT, apparently just broke the the ethereum blockchain this is reminding me of that dj khaled uh meme which he's a bit of a meme himself where he said something like when he released his album which nobody fucking listens to dj khaled he said that the itunes servers were broken or something and he had to call up apple and told them to get more servers and it's just like you guys are just you're just full of shit you're full of shit and uh i guess jokes on us because we're not all absolutely mega rich like ty lopez is but there you go the og the original garage social club by ty lopez consisting of the silver gold and black master membership cards uh didn't go very well see how many millions he's going to get from his community for this and good on the nft community for recognizing that this ain't the one uh, which very frequently they don't recognize so there you go uh, appreciate you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments below leave a like on the video if you want to see more like this uh, or just like a deeper dive into Ty, Ty Lopez's NFT collection because I'm sure if we go through and we look at what's going on with it we're going to find some bullshit because we usually do so appreciate you see you next time stay safe peace